Phil, what you doing here? I don't know. I'm just trying to get this. Look at that. Out, but then put some adhesive on here, and then we just put this on. It's just like a hole under here. Nice. Now I get something like this. Yeah. And then whatever we don't need, we can just cut it off here in the corner. Oh, that's a smart idea. Yeah. Uh, I actually got this idea from someone. Who? <laughs> well, I went to Lowe's and picked up some of this carpet. Got some more over there. And then uh, cut it in half. So we're basically gonna just spray the whole side here with this multi-purpose adhesive. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay this carpet out have it in place where we need it. We're gonna fold back the carpet, spray both surfaces, pick up the carpet again, stick it to the wall. What do you think, Phil? Yeah, makes sense. Let's see if you it works. You probably don't need to spray like too far down here because you don't want to glue this part on. That's a good point. And then we're gonna do both sides. We're gonna to try to go up all the way to the, uh, up to the front there. Looks pretty good. So now that the carpet is in, I'm going to work on mounting this guy permanently. And I'm also gonna install this, this rear anchor light. So this will just go in this hole here. I have to make this just a little bit uh, wider, just a bit bigger. And then that will sit like, like this in here. And then this anchor light will just mount in there when I need it. So so I'm just going to clean up the edges, make this a little bit of a bigger diameter, and then I can mount this guy in here. So I cut this gasket out. Uh, I decided to cut a gasket for this light just because it's kind of like, I don't know, when it sits flush on the, the fiberglass surface, it doesn't, um, kind of just rocks back and forth. So yeah, that's why I cut the gasket, put some wires in, just ran to pick up some uh, hardware for the lights, chrome plated, so kind of matches the chrome of the light itself. Gotta make it look pretty. And then I also got um, some washers and lock washers for underneath, so I can snug it down pretty good. So I'll just go underneath. Great, looking pretty nice. Has that classic look, so kinda kind of suits the boat. Got this on Amazon, I think it was like 30 bucks. So I don't, there's not many options that I could find. So this was the biggest one that I could find that seemed like it would suit the boat properly. So what I'm gonna do now I'm going to unbolt the power trim unit off of my engine stand and try to fit it on the back of the boat. I'm gonna unbolt it from the engine stand, clamp it onto the back here, and then measure it out from either side. I'll try to get it as center as possible. And then I'm gonna take a centering punch and try to get the, the mounting holes as center as possible, so. That is the next step. So we're gonna go ahead and unbolt that from here and then try to, and then I'll just pull up my clamps and get that clamped down, so.
All right, that looks, actually right there looks exactly what it should be. Yeah, I'm gonna mark where the uh, holes are gonna be drilled out. And then I'll take this all off. So I bought this tool for drilling the holes in the transom and you can set the angle at which you were wanting to drill. So I'm pretty bad with drilling straight freehand. So I figured that I would go pick this guy up because I can set it to zero degrees, hold it flat up against the transom and then um, drill a straight hole through the transom that way when i put the bolts in it they won't be all on a weird angle and it will also help with keeping the jack plate exactly where i want it so i think this was like 20 dollars. so i'm gonna give this a shot see how it works i'm gonna start off with a small drill bit and then work my way up so let's go ahead and see how that works because yeah, I've never used one of these before. So I'm gonna go ahead, put that in. There goes nothing. All right, my 15 minutes here are over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I made this cool plate uh, spacer. It's gonna be the same thickness as the top of the uh, transom plate so that when I put the jack plate on the back of this plate, <laughs> it's all um, even. So I'm just gonna put a bunch of this 4200 marine adhesive around these holes well right now this is basically just to make sure this properly sticks to the back because when i lift this up and put it on the transom i don't want these to fall down and give me grief i don't need grief okay mm. so now that that's all on wasn't filming you there really oh no just for one second Bill, you are probably my worst cameraman. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, wow. I'm just kidding. No, I'm doing good. I'm not shaking at all. You know? <laughs> now I can't do it. <laughs> now I can't do a time lapse because <laughs> people are going to get dizzy and get sick. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. I just want extra on the bottom because the water line will probably be above the bottom holes at least so i've seen these jack plates on a lot smaller boats so yeah just put it on i put the, th the screws through and then okay here we go Hop. the moment of truth can you get that wire like out of the way sure just put the one bolt through so i can see where to line it up We can bolt the top ones first, obviously. Yeah, I'm just gonna get them through. Here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I think they don't quite present line. Oh, 
Oh yeah. So look at this. Got the jack plate mounted and the engine bracket. So when I do put the motor back on, I can just I can just lower it into place and then push the pin through. So that's how it sits. I know it looks kind of big for this boat, but I've seen these on a lot smaller boats and I <laughs> I hope it does fine. I think it'll do fine. Um, yeah, so, so I use this 4200, the M3 4200 adhesive sealant to go around all the bolt holes on the back of the transom and then I kind of also put it in around all these bolts. So I put it quite a bit in. This stuff takes a little bit to cure, so I'm gonna let it cure fully before, uh, obviously I put it in the water. <laughs> It'll be cured before I put it in the water for sure. Actually, so this is what it looks like on, both, on the top. So I, all of my hardware is stainless steel. So this is a little bit longer. I thought it was gonna be a little bit shorter, but that's fine. So both sides got these guys through on the top. And then also on the bottom here, they're coming they're able to fit right in the middle of the two by six, which is exactly what I was hoping for. Phil reefed on that with a wrench, so it's getting tight. So I guess the next step here is to put the motor on and I'll probably do that tomorrow. Uh, hopefully tomorrow. It'll be pretty simple. I just gotta pretty much lower it in place and then push the pin through here I'll get that on tomorrow and then we'll and then we'll go boating kidding we got to do the steering wheel first steering wheel and throttle controls so that will also probably happen within the next few days here I'm gonna take all these wires fish them through this hole and then uh, clean everything up nicely so it looks nice and pretty uh, yeah so Finally, it's good to finally get that on. I'm excited to see how it performs. It might, it might be too heavy actually. You never know. If it's too heavy, I might have to either take the whole thing off and just use the motor or just put a smaller motor on the power trim. But we'll see, it might be fine. I think it'll be fine, fingers crossed. So it'll be fine. So at this point, I am gonna be heading home, get some other stuff done. Hopefully come back in the morning and hopefully get that motor on. So, so I'll be back tomorrow.